Hey friends, welcome back to KPJP Florida. And as the title said, we're gonna unbox and review these two. So we've got an o, a DJI OM4 and a three. Newest on the market. This one, the OM4, is retailing at today or at 139 pounds. Just checking on Amazon. And the Osmo um, 3, 105 pounds. I can find it on Amazon as of today. We're gonna unpackage one by one and then we're gonna give you a review of them in action as well. Three first. vlogger like us and you want to go and you want to go out and about i think this is one of these stabilizations is such a great idea you've probably seen them on youtube anyway but um my video is going to be better no. <laughs> these are great for when you're vlogging outside and you're doing a live maybe on a live stream um or you just want to get some action images Never open boxes, can I? Stabilization kits are awesome. Okay, so in this box we have got two packages. comes in a great little case. Nice light handbag size, clutch bag size, size I would say. Here you go. Charging cable. strap so we've got the nice little handheld kit we have got a strap charging cable imagine this is a tripod yep this is a tripod rubbers to go wherever the rubbers are going a handy little another bag as well I imagine that's to put all of these bits in So I like the fact with this three, it's nice and compact. So you could use this soft bag or the hard bag. We'll be going around the parks. So I think, um, I'm not sure. I prefer to use this, but I'm just cautious that when we're going in and out of rides and you shove it in the, in the little uh, compartment at the front of the rides that the hard case would probably be better. But actually, I like the way this folds. The one we've got at the moment, it just hangs loose. So this one, when it's switched off, is really safe and secure. Whereas my current one isn't as safe and secure. So it, it does wobble around, as I say. So this is pretty cool, actually. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to charge the three up. Um, and then we will get out the Osmo 4, have a look at that and then get them both charged and go out and do some stabilization shots. But at the moment, the three is pretty cool. I quite like the ease, I like this, this section. It's quite, it's not too heavy. It actually isn't too heavy. I imagine over time, if I'm doing a live stream for a couple of hours, it might become heavy. But at this moment in time, it feels quite comfortable um, and compact and it goes nicely back in there or in here, which would be quite cool with the tripod because it'll all be together. That would be quite nice to take around. It's much easier. Um, I don't know if the tripod would fit in here as well. 
No. Because I know there's going to be occasions like when you're reviewing food and when you're reviewing certain things, you actually want to put the tripod on. Um, so having this soft bag is probably going to be pretty cool. Oh, that sits so well as well. Look at that. Okay, let's get it charged up. So the charging area is just here. So where you've got the power button, that's where this cable goes. And this just clicks, connects in. Luckily we've got sockets in our house that have got these, so we can just plug that in now. As you can see, as it's charging, it's flashing these lights. Hey my friends, so this is the Osmo 4 magnetic, magnetic. So create, create magnetic moments. Now, I do know that with the current gimbal that we have now, when I am going on rides and things like that, the dismounting of the phone is, you know, it's not a hassle, but it's not as easy as you want it to be. Um, so having this magnetic, it does look like it's quite fast. And the fact that this thing goes down in compacts is pretty cool. The fact that you can also see that you can still use the um, tripod is pretty cool. I mean, look at that. That, that setup there just looks awesome. Um, but that setup is going to be on the other one as well, on the three. And the, the only difference, I believe, is the magnetic moments. Stabilization is probably just still the same. I'll have a look though, just to see. The things that it says on the back that it has, it's got story mode, it's got gesture control, quick roll, um, activity tracker, uh, foldable and portable, same as the three, and the magnetic dismount. So let's get it open. <laughs> oh my gosh. Has anyone ever seen those machines that actually sucks this all in? So it makes it so tight. I just don't want to wreck it. Just kind of get into it. Just give me a wedge. Seriously? Oh. <gasps> Smartphone stabilizer. Da, da, da. Guys, tell me below what one of you of these you have. Do you have three? Do you want to get the four? Wow. Okay. That gives you a quick demo there of what you have to. Oops, of what you have to do. Creating magnetic moments. Woohoo! Ooh la la. Okay, so we all. Nice. <laughs> the box is a bit of velvet padding <laughs> and I'm fascinated with it more than actually the gimbal itself. Okay, so we have a little tab, uh, which is the riser iPad for small phones. We have got the gadgety bit. Uh, we've got the tripod. We've got the cable, charging cable, the lovely little tripod. for small phones cool okay and obviously the compact gimbal again and the magnetic look should we see if there's any charge in it you never know i don't know why i was pressing that if the button's here right so there's definitely no charge Ooh. We have got an alignment guide. I have to set this up on your iPhone. That's pretty cool. We've got the soft case. There's a soft case here. And hold up. Exactly the same as the other one. Oh, 
This is so exciting. Oh my goodness. Come on. It's gonna be funny actually watching me trying to get things out of here. Get it all out. Ow. Okie dokie, so we have got everything out here. So I was just reading the instructions and definitely read the instructions because what it was saying down here is attaching the magnetic ring holder. Use the wet wipes to clean. This as well. Wet wipes to clean the back of the phone. Then use the dry wipe to dry. Attach the sticker to the back of the phone. Place the alignment guide on the back of the phone. Adjust the position of the alignment guide to locate the center of the phone. Attach the magnetic ring holder to the back of the phone. Make sure it's firmly attached. Remove the alignment guide. Wait 12 hours before attaching the phone to the Osmo 4 the magnetic ring holder now the only problem i can see with this is jp and i were both going to use this so there's only one obviously magnetic pad one magnetic ring so we wouldn't it'd have to go on one of our phones stay there so um interesting and in most situations you probably wouldn't want to share it anyway but you know when we go around the park, we both do a bit of vlogging, so it would definitely just be JP um, on his phone using this, I think. So I would not set it up on my phone, I'll just let him do it. Um, yeah. Obviously, if you've got a phone in a case, you can't have that. The phone has to come out of the case, <laughs> obviously. So, um, yeah, so you would stick it here, onto the back here, use the alignment, alignment guide. Just reading the quick start guide as well, so it's quite straightforward. It says, use the magnetic uh, phone clamp attach over the phone, so that's this piece. So you attach that to the back of the phone. As so, or you use this. Um, align the markers on the phone charger with this. If we're using my phone, and then what you would do, woo, it's on there. That's quite a strong hold. I don't think you need to worry about that coming off anytime soon. So you don't have to use this clamp. You can just use that. Um. Okay, so we need to charge it up. So again, we've got the charger here. So we're gonna get this one charged up. <laughs> so the gray, darker gray is the three and the lighter color is the four. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. New Year's Eve, popping out for a little walkie first thing in the morning. It's beautiful, it's 10 a.m., sun is shining. It's a little bit chilly, minus one, but how beautiful is this? Morning! I can't really see you. The sun is so bright. 
this is the gimbal we brought the gimbal out with us today this is gimbal 3 and we have downloaded the app which you have to do and we are now going to show you our video JP is going to video the footage of how smooth it is compared to when we're walking around with just a handheld camera I know you've probably seen loads of these videos but this is now a version of how smooth it is when we're walking and we're hoping to take these to the park as well um, so that we can do lives and get some excellent footage when we're back cool. out in Florida aren't we babe yeah so uh, you to just try and so one thing I've been having trouble with is actually centering it. Mm. So good. Yeah. yeah, I think it's just one of those things that you just takes a little bit of time to get used to. I think before you go and use it for something like at the parks or use it for a special occasion, definitely take it out and have a play with it. And that's one thing that we did. We bought it last week, didn't we? And we didn't realise that we had to download the, the software. So we've downloaded the software now. We've paired the software with the phone. Um, this Gimbal 3, we actually aren't keeping. We're going to have the other one, which is the magnetic detachable. But um, it's good to... They're exactly the same, really, apart from the detachable element. Um, we just think it would be a lot easier for when we Ooh, are... It's going bad. It's going bad. It's oh, going oh, bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot easier for when we're going on or off and on rides when we go to Florida but yeah it's a beautiful day here today and I'll be able to show the footage of me holding my handheld camera and then the it's smoothness so easy to switch between the two different modes so that's good hold on this is going to be slippery just walk across here carefully Ooh. yeah look so when you want to go to portrait, yeah, it's there. Yeah. If I want to go landscape, it's just two clicks of a button. That's really good, because obviously portrait is for Instagram. And then three puts it back in the mode, so you can pack it away. Oh right. Um, I was saying portrait is for Instagram, and obviously landscape is for YouTube. Oh, nice, lovely bit of ice. It's beautiful here today. So what we'll do. I'll show the footage now of JP, JP's footage compared to the camera in my hand. Hope you enjoy this video, guys. It always looks amazing. I always, always, always think your phone looks better than mine, but actually, it's the same phone. So I mean, I'm bouncing up and down a fair bit, so. Yeah, the stability of the three and okay, the other one are really good. I don't know what the other one's called. Uh, it's the four. Oh yeah, four. The weirdest thing is actually getting used to tracking left and right. Yeah. What if you can use your hand, can't you?
saying goodbye to the Christmas tree trail. Saying goodbye to the... Oh, that Christmas tree trail. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye to the cold. Because <laughs> tomorrow, from the 1st of Jan, you know it's going to be boiling hot, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got here at the very beginning, 10 a.m. That's not pretty. I can see badgers. I didn't know that. Hey guys, so the moral of the story here is that the Osmo 3 and 4 are both sufficient and amazing stabilizers, and it had just come down to preference and I imagine price. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a great big like hit that notification bell and don't forget to subscribe to keep supporting our lovely channel. See you next time. Bye.